Sound of Freedom blasts past $100 million at the box office, declared the People's Movie as early estimates show its besting Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Now, the early estimates did have it a cup like 0.2 million over Mission Impossible. When it was all said and done, Mission Impossible by the skin of its teeth by $18,000 was on top of Sound of Freedom for Wednesday. We don't have the official Thursday numbers for those movies yet. But nevertheless, a virtual tie. Sound of Freedom in its third week release. In 1,100 versus... less theaters. <laughs> exactly. And the only the only movie that's gaining theaters this week, I don't think Mission Impossible is losing any. Obviously, Barbie and Oppenheimer are coming in. But the only one that's gaining any is Sound of Freedom once again. Hell Everybody yeah. Everybody else is going to be losing hundreds of theaters. Sound of Freedom is gaining a marginal number, something like 20 or 50 or whatever, right? That's awesome, but man. But it just shows you what it's continuing to do. You know, 1,400 per theater take and right there with Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. And you can't say enough about this movie. Obviously, there's things that are factoring into this. When you look at the pay it forward system, when you look at the fact that people can gift other people tickets, at the end of the day, all that all that matters is that domestic number at the box office, $100 million, and that theaters everywhere are packed for it. Like yep. people are only showing this two times, maybe a day, and they're packed every time. This is connecting with people on a different level. Man, I'm I'm so happy that it's making this impact. It makes it a little bit easier to kind of just see what's going on with Mission Impossible, uh, that it's not doing as well. No, again, that's domestically. Again, like Ryan pointed out, this has been a historically international heavy uh, film franchise anyway, so it's still going to make a lot of money overseas. What did Fallout, like a $200 million, what Fallout did? So Fallout was, I think, $220 million domestically and like $550 million international for just under $800 million total. That, that's what Fallout did. So right now, it's tracking behind it internationally, but was tracking at or tracking ahead internationally, but was behind domestically. I think they were probably really surprised with Sound of Freedom. I think Sound of Freedom is eating into part of that audience, undeniably.